This is so much fun just playing with makeup. I'm excited today. I almost blended it out. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we did this smoky eye with a nude lip and this is my first video with me just sitting down and talking to you guys directly rather than a voiceover over a live stream. So it's kind of different and I'm excited. Let's go a little personable. Um, okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> But yes, if you want to see how we created this look, just keep on watching. If you haven't already, subscribe down below and yeah. All right, let's get started. I gotta get the coffee in my system. Gotta wake up, snap out of it. I'm gonna start with this Glow Skin Beauty Illuminating Primer. My sweet nature got this for me for Christmas. I like this primer, it gives a bit of a glow and then it's also quite sticky. So it feels like it'll hold the foundation pretty well. I do have pores around my nose, so I like to use the Benefit Professional. Now I'm going to take the shade Porcelain, which is a little bit lighter, in the center. Using this dome brush from Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to spray the brush with my setting spray. It's just something I like to do. I like to use a brush when blending out my foundation. A lot of people will use a sponge, a beauty blender or something like that. I just quite like using a brush, I don't know. I really like the coverage of this stick foundation. It still lets your skin shine through, so it's not super full coverage, but it definitely covers any redness that I do want to cover up. This is the L'Oreal Blur Concealer. I really like this, and I haven't heard many people talk about this concealer. It's from the drugstore, so it's super cheap, and it's really, really nice. I wanna go ahead and set the under eyes so that they don't crease. And I use the e.l.f. Translucent Powder. Another favorite product of mine that I don't feel like many people talk about or like, but it's my favorite, is the Bahama Mama Bronzer. I just find it such a perfect shade for me. I'm quite pale, obviously, and it's not super warm, but it's not like gray contour color. So, where's... Excuse me, sir, I'm missing a brush. Two hours later. I found him! He's been used. If I need a brush that's been used and then I haven't shampooed yet, I will use a brush spot cleaner. Everyone knows to clean their brushes, but if you don't know, clean them. Lots of bacteria can build up on a makeup brush and it's pretty gross. So, just clean them. Oh, but yes, this is my favorite brush. I just picked up some of the bronzer on this brush. This is my favorite brush for bronzer, and I'll show you. I feel like you can get right in there to kind of carve out your cheekbone, and then you can blend it up. Just a little bit of shading under there can make your lips look a little more pouty and a little bigger. I take it below the jawline to sort of sharpen up my jaw. 
make sure you do blend it down. You don't want just a stark line around your chin because that would look silly. I used the Morphe M510 for my highlight and I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. What is this? Precious Petals. So I almost forgot my nose. What I'll do, take a little bit of the bronzer on the tip of the brush and just go right down the side. I don't particularly do a nose contour. My nose is super weird and it doesn't take a contour very well. So that is foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlighter. We need blush. Got this little quad and it's got these gorgeous highlighters in these more blush tones. I'm gonna go in with the pinkier shade. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of the blush on the tip of my nose because I think that's really cute, but my nose is already red because I've been sneezing all morning. Awesome. So I was going to use my Morphe 350 palette today, but I know there's about a thousand tutorials with that palette, but it is my favorite. I'm going to use my other favorite Morphe palette, which is the 35P palette. It's the purple one. But we're not going to do a purple look today. We're going to use these more neutral shades over here. And I'm going to do a smoky eye today. Starting with an eye primer. This actually came with my Lorac eyeshadow palette that I got one time. So it's like a sample size. And I'll apply this with my finger. I just tap it in. I'm going to start with this light peachy shade. And I'm going to zoom y'all in so you can see better. I'm going to go right in the crease. Concentrating that mostly in the crease on the outer side, and then I'll lightly blend it out. This eye always does better. You can see that weird spot on my eyeball. Freaky! Once we're happy with that shade, I'm going to take the same brush. So I'm going to take this right into the crease. So I'm not gonna blend it out quite as far as we did that lighter shade. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M433. Now, this is my favorite shade in the palette, especially for smoky eyes. It's this really cool gray color. I'm also gonna run this over the entire lid with the brush that we used earlier with no extra product on it, I'm just gonna buff out the crease. Why is this eye so much prettier? This eye gets saggy, and the, everybody got a good eye, right? That good eyebrow that goes up. <laughs> All right, once that is nice and blended out, I'm gonna take an even smaller brush. This is the Morphe 431 and I'm gonna go in with the black in the palette which is well loved and go right on the outer portion of the eye across the lashes and then just in the crease on the outside not gonna bring that all the way in we just want to deepen up the outside a little bit with the brush that we used the dark gray on just gonna blend out that black. Wipe off any excess. And I'm gonna go in with this, this shade that we used second and start to smoke out the lower lash line. The smaller brush that we used with the black, I'm gonna wipe the black off of that as well and then go in with the gray and go a little bit closer to the lash line, not dragging it out quite as far as we did the lash shade. And then just blend that out. And then with a little bit of black, I go right, right there on the lash line. Yeah, I'm gonna take the highlighter that we used, Precious Petals from Wet n Wild, 
and go right in to the inner corner. Now it's time for my other favorite part, eyebrows. I use a powder. These are actually from BH Cosmetics. It's the first brow product I ever bought. So I go in with the middle shade. I start at the bottom of the eyebrow. Just going along the bottom. Then, once all the product is kind of off the brush, I start to flick it up from that line and bring it through the hairs. And then I go right on the arch. I don't have a great arch, so I fake it a little bit. I go a little bit higher right there. And then I start to blend it forward and match up the top to the tail. And we have eyebrows. Lovely. Now that we have our eyeshadow and our eyebrows on, we will go in with a little bit of eyeliner. Then I go do this freaky thing and get in the waterline on the top as well. I really like to do that. It really darkens up the base of the eyelashes. I'm gonna use this brush that we used before and just blend out the eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Waterproof. It's carbon black. I love this. It's super black. And when I use falsies, it really blends the lashes with the false eyelashes so nicely. All right, that is the eyes complete. We have a little smoky eye going on. And now I'm gonna go in with a lip. I just got the Anastasia Naked um, lipstick. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know how it's gonna look on me. Let's give it a shot and see how it works out. I think this is the first really pale nude that I've actually been able to wear. All right, I did go over that shade with Peach Buff from Maybelline. Just because this liquid lip is really drying and I have very dry lips. So I went over that a little bit so that my lips didn't look like the Sahara Desert. I think that's, should we do a gloss? I think we should do a gloss. All right, let's go ahead and set our face. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something today. If you haven't already, click that red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. It would help so much. Also, if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to see, just leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear your suggestions. And that is it. I love you guys so much. I hope that you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. First video going real well. Real well. Yeah. I'm just not gonna have makeup on the tip of my nose. Because boogers. I have boogers. 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 Boogers.